the, the key for us is that we don't take any of our readers for granted. I mean, we, every day we get up and we work really hard to just to create um, the best, most compelling um, story about, um, about what's going on out there. We try to cover this space in real time. We try to cover it very comprehensively. We try to have the best stories. We try to have the most stories. We try to have the best writing. We try to have the best scoops. We try to have the most exciting um, sort of freshest approach to all this stuff and we're really enthusiastic and really passionate about about what we cover which is gadgets and I think for any blog to be successful you have to be really passionate about the subject matter that you're going to be covering uh, otherwise it's actually very very painful um, what you end up doing is, is it, with blogs it's really hard to hide when you're not uh, it, you can't really fake your way to a successful blog if you're not enthusiastic about the subject matter it's going to come through in your writing and, and you're never going to attain any readers and I think within gadget we were all really really um, excited and passionate about new technologies and about gadgets and electronics and about convergence and all this stuff and it's something that we just try to, to, to express every single day and um, you know something that's interesting about blogs unlike a lot of other things like magazines or, or even radio or television is that you know there's no monopoly there's no barrier to entry so we have to earn our readers every single day over and over and over and over again right I mean it's not like if you have a magazine you have people that are subscribing or maybe you have a, a good distribution into retail channels and magazine stands or whatever if you have television you have a license um, or you have good carriage on the on the cable networks or whatever but with blogs I mean there are thousands of gadget blogs out there I started Gizmodo about four Four and a half years ago, and that was the first. And since then, there have probably been several thousand that have been started. Um, and uh, it's just about you know being very, very humble about about the fact that readers at any time can delete you from their RSS newsreader, or just decide they're never going to go visit your site ever again. And you have to just keep earning those readers over and over and over again every single day.